Welcome to this new course entitled Safe Patient Transfer, Movement, and Immobilization Techniques. At the conclusion of this module, you will be able to describe the basic principles of body mechanics, proper lifting, and transfer techniques, identify standard patient positions, and the range of immobilization techniques, explain the importance of quality communication with patients, describe the reduction of patient radiation exposure by using proper immobilization methods, and finally, apply immobilization techniques in routine situations, trauma, and pediatric situations. In this last section, we will discuss transferring the geriatric patients. One of the greatest fears for the geriatric patient is the fear of falling. A serious fracture can lead to rapid deterioration in the quality of life of a senior. Again, the technologist should communicate all instructions to the patient. Extra care should be taken to make sure the patient feels secure. Patients should be kept warm, which will also serve to control shivering, seen on the radiograph as motion due to movement. Some patients will be frail, and the technologist is required to reassure and not rush the patient. Work smoothly, but avoid working quickly which can sometimes disorient the patient. Constant reassurance is necessary, and the technologist should pay particular attention to the patient's comfort, particularly during positioning. Often, geriatric patients will have thin and fragile skin that is subject to pressure sores. Extra care must be taken when transferring the patient to avoid bruises and bumps. To avoid skin breakdown in elderly patients, immobilization devices should be carefully applied in order to avoid abrasions. Any friction against unprotected skin can result in skin breakdown. Skin breakdown will also result if patients spend prolonged time in the same position or on damp sheets caused by urine or fecal material. Technologists should be aware of the following conditions. Ischemia is the blanching and feeling of coldness over pressure areas. These can be on the heel, coccyx, elbows, and the buttocks. It is caused by a deficiency of blood to an area which can lead to the constriction or the obstruction of blood vessels. Reactive hyperemia, if not treated, is followed by necrosis, which is localized tissue death due to injury or lack of oxygen. Reactive hyperemia can also result in ulceration necrosis that penetrates below the epidermis, causing excavation of the surface of the skin. Important signs for the technologist watch include pain, localized coldness, localized numbness, burning or tingling of fingers or toes, localized swelling, change in skin color, inability to move fingers or toes, or a decrease or absence of pulse in the extremities. The geriatric patient should not remain in the same position for extended periods. If the patient is lying on the x-ray table, their position should be changed as often as every 30 minutes to decrease the risks of ulceration. 
Another tip is to use a pillow or a sponge support on pressure areas such as the hips, the knees, and the heels. Patients should be kept clean and dry while avoiding bruising the patient during any transfer. This concludes the module on safe patient transfer, movement, and immobilization techniques. Prior to taking the examination, please reread the module objectives to verify that you have no additional questions to review. We hope you will continue on to the remaining modules in patient care in radiology. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our All Access Pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.